In China, Ziji volunteers visited two schools in Ya'an, Sichuan, to award scholarships. Their 92 scholarship recipients donated their savings to help the needy. Meanwhile, students in Guizhou have started a recycling campaign to collect PET bottles, with the proceeds from the sale of recyclables being used to help needy students. The amount of plastic bottles collected is astonishing. These come from nowhere else but the students themselves. At Lordia No. 1 Senior High School in Guizhou, of the 3,000 students, half live in the school dormitories, while others live in rental homes outside of the school. As they do not have access to proper drinking water, students mostly drink bottled water, which has resulted in a large volume of trash. However, that is about to change. Going class to class to collect PT bottles, students also seize the opportunity to educate their classmates on recycling. This recycling campaign was started by current student council chairman Mao Guodong. When I see plastic bottles lying around or being discarded carelessly on campus, I get an urge to do something about it. I feel if we don't do anything, our campus will be dirty. After city volunteers began advocating recycling on campus last year, Ma became inspired to help. Together, Ma and six other classmates began to collect recyclables and within one semester accumulated 304 US dollars from the sale of recyclables, which they used to help 11 impoverished students. Because the proceeds from the plastic bottles is not a lot, we decided to help those students in greater need first. Mao's initiative, which originally began with only six people, has now extended to 108 students who practice recycling on campus once a week. Not only are they keeping their school grounds clean, their hearts and minds are also cleansed in the process. As students open up their coin banks, over six months of daily savings are poured into the sea of love. Before I would spend the money my mom gave me on food, but now I will save a small portion for my bamboo coin bank to help others. Today, Tiji volunteers are here at Changing Tiji Elementary School. Never did they imagine that the bamboo coin banks they gave to students six months ago would now be filled with their love. I use my leftover lunch money to help the needy. I buy clothes and food for them. Regardless of the amount, it is the thought that counts. Tiji scholarship recipient Huang Rei from Mingshan Senior High School says she hopes this accumulation of kindness will turn into an ocean of love. I fold the notes into the shape of small boats before putting them in my coin bank. I hope the boats can travel to where help is most needed. Reciprocating the kindness they have received by helping others, even in times of hardship, these scholarship recipients are extending the cycle of love.